Hello friends, if you are watching my channel for the first time, please subscribe my channel. Press the bell notification icon for more updates. Like and share the video. Thank you. In the description box, I have given the video links for more details. Go through the description box and check for other videos. Thank you. Hello students. Today, I am going to explain the experiment known as op-amp inverting and non-inverting amplifier. So this is the circuit wherein inverting input is given to the input through a resistor. A feedback resistor is connected between pin number 2 and 6. Non-inverting terminal is grounded and dual supply is applied between pin number 7 and 4. The tabular column looks like this. Resistance we are writing in terms of ohms, 1 kilo ohm, 2.2 kilo ohm, 3.3 kilo ohm. And finally, instead of 10 kilo ohm, I have changed it to 4.7 kilo ohm. The next tabular column is theoretical output, VO. This we are calculating and writing it here. What is RF? RF is 10 kilo ohm, R1 is 1 kilo ohm, and for the kit that we are performing, the input we will measure and write. Then practical output, I need to measure it with the multimeter. Then theoretical voltage gain, I need to again calculate. It is a ratio of RF by RI. Negative sign indicates that there is a phase shift of 180 degree. In the practical voltage gain, I have already measured VO and VI. I need to take the ratio of these two. Now, this gain should tally with this, this output voltage should match with this. That is what we need to do the experiment. After this, we are moving to non-inverting amplifier that we will see later. For this, I need op-amp kit or springboard with dual supply. When I use op-amp kit, I can use dual supply here. Fixed supply is there. I can use this fixed supply. You can see it clearly. Fixed supply plus 12 volt, 0 volt, minus 12 volt. Plus 12 volt should always be connected to 7, 0 to the ground point, minus 12 to the pin number 4. Then you can also see here there is input. I can give positive input or negative input. Right now I am not giving this. I have to give these two. And I should measure what is the input voltage through this multimeter to this pin numbers. So that to this terminals. So that you can see what is the voltage that you are applying. Measure it and write it in the tabular column. This is this is the op-amp, it is already connected, this is the notch, leftmost pin is this, from the notch you should see, leftmost pin is this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, pin number 1 is here, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, pin number 8 we don't connect, pin number 1 and 5 also we don't connect. We use only pin number 2, 3, 4, 7 and 6. Let us connect the circuit now. For op-amp circuits, always we should connect the dual supply first. For dual supply, as I said, pin number 7 should be connected to plus 12 volt. Pin number 4 should be connected to minus 12 volt. Now to represent the ground, I will take a black wire 0 and I will connect this here. 
So I am taking this row as a ground point. Any wires I can connect it here as a ground point. So this is the connection that I have done. Before I proceed further connections, let me measure the voltage, input voltage. For this, I should keep multimeter DC 20 volt, switch on the multimeter and keep it here. Positive to here, negative to here. Measure. It is showing 1.23. This we need to write it in the book. Here on the tabular column, write it VI 1.23 volt. Next, remove this. Connect pin number 2 to resistor. First, let us take 1 kilo ohm. See, 1 kilo ohm is here. I am taking one end of the resistor to 1 kilo ohm. Another end of the resistor. I am giving it to input positive of the supply. Then the negative of the supply I am connecting it to ground. Then pin number 3 is also grounded. So connect pin number 3 to ground. So right now I did like this pin number 2 to resistor, resistor to positive, negative to ground. And then 3 to ground. I have already connected 7, 4 and ground. Left out is this part and this. So what I do? Left out connection is feedback resistor. Pin number 2 to 10 kilo ohm. 10 kilo ohm is here. This 3 ranges are 10 kilo ohm. Other end of 10 kilo ohm to pin number 6. Then I need to connect this multimeter. Negative to this ground position, positive to here. Now I need to check the multimeter reading. So, whatever I am getting in the multimeter is the output voltage. Let me write that output voltage. It is 11.06. Remember, Actually, this should be usually kept it to 1 volt. But this is little extra. This one, it should be, the input should be 1 volt. But this is little extra. Because of this, some values may not tally. But most of the values will tally because we are taking this voltage into consideration. So, we will take this input as 1.23. Let us not forget this. Then next one is RI input resistor should be 2.2K. See this is 1K. Where is 2.2K? I need to search in the trainer kit. You could notice here it is 2.2K. This is 3.3K. 3.3K. Then 4.7K, you are able to see here. 2.2K, 3.3K, 4.7K. What I need to do is, I just have to take one end of this, connect it one end to 2.2K. Similarly, take this and connect it here. That's all. You need not have to disconnect the complete circuit. Now check the value 5.66, write it in your book. Then 3.3k, as I said, make it very easy. Take this one terminal, connect it here. Take this here, connect it here. Then measure the value. You need not forget to write negative, minus 3.80. Then 4.7, you can connect it here and measure the reading, minus 2.66. Let us see for 10 kilo ohm also, another 10k is here, I will connect it like this and I will take 
you can notice for 10k it is minus 1.23. Then we will do this calculation. 10k divided by 10k into 1.23. That's 1.23 and you can check here. I got it as 1.23. So minus 1.23 and 1. So this is AB voltage gain was 110k by 10. You could notice these two are tallying, these two are tallying. Now I need to complete this tabular column. After completing, I will show you this. See, after calculation, for 1k, it is not tallying, it is uh, uh, not coming exactly. For 10, I am getting 8.9. For 12, I am getting 11.5 like this. Whereas you can observe other readings, it is tallying. This happens because input should be always 1 volt. If it is little more than 1 volt, 1 kilo ohm resistor, it will not tally. So I can write these four values in the record. Now let us go for non-inverting amplifier. See, this is the non-inverting circuit and this is the inverting circuit. If you observe clearly, only this part I have shifted here. Check. This is grounded and that battery I have shifted here. Rest all connections remain same. So you can just do that but still I will just explain how to do this connection. So as I said first in number 7 to plus 12 volt then the number 4 to minus 12 volt then ground to 0 volt then the number 2 to resistor that is 1 kilo ohm from other end of 1 kilo now I have to connect it to ground because I am doing with non inverting what I should do next is in number 3 I need to connect it to plus here that is positive then this ground again have to connect it to ground terminal then I need to connect in number 2 to 10k then 10k to the number 6 other end not to the same end now Finally, I need to connect the multimeter. Negative to ground, positive to pin number 6. Now, let me check the values. Let us take it little fast now since you have understood the concept. It is 1K. For 1K, I am getting 10.50. You might have noticed there is no negative sign here. Since we are operating with non-inverting mode, input and output will be in phase. Hence, there won't be any negative sign at the output. Then, I simply need to change this to 2.2k. From 1k to 2.2k. Note down this reading 6.86. Where I need to note down? I need to write down in the column, third column, practical output voltage. Then I need to change it to 3.3k. 3.3k is here. One end I will take it here. Another end also I will connect it here. I can measure 5.01. So, I will write it down in the book aside 5.01. Now, from 3k, I need to connect it to 4.7k. 4.7k, I am writing it in the last column. I am getting 3.87. Then, last reading, I need to connect it to 10k. I am getting 2.45. I took the reading. As usual, I need to calculate. One calculation I will show you. 
for 10k i got 2.45 as a output voltage input was 1.23 if i take that i am getting it as 1.99 almost 2 then 10k by 10k is 1 plus 1 is 2 into 1.23 2.46 i should get you can notice here this is 2.46 calculated i am getting 2.45 this is 2 because 10 by 10 is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 I am getting 1.9. So almost tallying. Like this I need to complete this column. Hence the experiment will be verified. So I have filled the tabular column. You are noticing it. Except 1 kilo ohm. All the other readings are tallying almost exactly. So this 1 kilo ohm there is a problem. Since our VI that is input voltage is 1.23. When we keep this input voltage as 1 volt exactly. Definitely for 1 kilo ohm also it will tally. So this is the experiment op-amp inverting and non-inverting amplifier. Thank you.